Hello guys and welcome to another epic tutorial. In today's video I'll teach you how I made these slides using PowerPoint. And I'll leave here the color and the fonts that I'm gonna use throughout my presentation in case you want to use the same ones. And the first thing that I do for every presentation is to insert guides. So right click, insert vertical guide, and then I'm gonna create a square here. And holding control, I'll duplicate that guide to where my square ends. I'll right click and add a horizontal guide and do the same and then move the square to the other corner and I'll repeat the process just to create a little bit of margin that will be super helpful when we design our slides. We'll start designing our second slide. So first insert an image, then click on crop, bring the handles all the way to where the slide ends and click on fill for the image to take the whole space of the slide. And then I'll insert a text box and this will be the title for my presentation. And the reason why we're doing the second slide is because it will be easier to animate and to create the cover of our magazine. And remember that if you hold control and drag the object, that could be a text or an image or a shape, it will get duplicated. It's super helpful to duplicate instead of going to insert because it copies the exact same formatting that you have for that shape or for that text. Now for this one I'm using the font Dean Condensed Bold and here I'm just listing my three favorite volcanoes but this one could also be maybe an index or an agenda slide. It will vary depending on the content of your presentation. And for these words right here, I'm just going to pick a different font and I'll group these text boxes with Ctrl G and then duplicate it holding Ctrl on my keyboard. And now it's easier to just replace the content. And to align them, you just have to hold Shift, select all of them, go to shape format, click on align and distribute vertically. Now let's duplicate the slide with Ctrl D and let's go to the first one and we're gonna drag every element but the image, we're gonna drag it out of the composition. So something like this, you just have to move them to the sides. Now select the image, go to picture format, click on crop and holding control will move the handles closer until it looks something like this. Then click on the arrow from crop and click on fill. And then click outside of the image. Now we'll do the title of our magazine. So in this case, it will be a science magazine, for example. So I'll just put the year here and my magazine is going to be called The Science Project. It's very generic, but depending on the topic of your presentation, you could change it to My History Project, or you could change it to My Chemistry Project, or something like that. I think this is a very creative way to do a presentation. And for this one, I'm using the font Walbum Display. And then I'll add the word volcanoes because that will be the topic of my magazine. For this one, I'm using a different font, which is Dean Condensed Bold. And I forgot to mention that I got the image from Unsplash.com, which is a website with free stock images. It's pretty good. So I suggest that you check it out. And then I found these barcode image on Google and I'll just copy paste it and put it around here. Now I'll insert a rectangle and this will be essentially our background. So you just have to pick the color that you would pick for the background. So get rid of the outline and then change the color. In my case, I'm going to pick black 
and holding control, I'll duplicate it to the bottom. Again, I'm gonna insert a rectangle. I'm gonna get rid of the outline, change the color to black and duplicate it to the other side, holding control. And now it's starting to look like a magazine. Now, this presentation is obviously inspired by National Geographic magazine. So I'm gonna insert another rectangle here to recreate the yellow border. Again, get rid of the outline and change the color to yellow. I'm gonna duplicate it and move it to the other side. Duplicate it again, rotate it, and in this case, this will be the top border. And just make sure that everything's aligned and you'll have to zoom in if you really want it to get pixel perfect. And again, holding control, I just duplicated the shape and put it on the bottom of our cover. And again, just make sure that everything is perfectly aligned. And now we can reposition our barcode to be on the bottom right corner. Now holding shift, select the text and the barcode. You're gonna copy and paste it into the second slide. Zoom out and you're gonna bring all of these elements outside of the composition and you're gonna make them a little bit larger. This will give us a very cool zoom effect once we add the morph transition. So again, make them larger, just make sure that they are not stacked on top of each other. So you just have to select the texts and move them up. Again, holding shift, select the frame and select the black shapes as well. Control C to copy and Control V to paste. And here we're gonna group it with Control G, zoom out and holding shift and control on your keyboard, you're gonna make it larger until the frame barely touches the image that we have there. And if you want to make sure that it's center, just click on align to center. Now we're gonna ungroup, so select the group and control shift G to ungroup. And now we're gonna bring these top shapes down and these bottom shapes up. Now these need to be very, 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 very close to the edge. So just bring them as close as you can. And then I'm gonna select the rest of the shapes. So the ones from the sides and holding control, I'm gonna make them um, shorter until we have like this horizontal frame. Just make sure that everything's aligned and everything is as close as it can be to the image. So now if we select the second slide, go to transitions and click on morph, you'll have this awesome, awesome effect. And if you see some weird white lines floating around, it's probably because you didn't bring the frame close enough to the image. Now let's create a new blank slide. I'll insert an image, click on crop, and I'll just align the handles to the guys that we did at the beginning. So we have this white frame. And here you can pretty much design the interior of your pages however you like. So in my case, I'm gonna talk about the three um, volcanoes that I listed on the previous page. So here I'll just insert a title. I'll just add a white rectangle here that I'm gonna fill in with some text. But this is the opportunity where you um, let your creativity go wild and just design the pages however you like. Here I'll increase the spacing of the lines to 1.5. And once you're done, you just have to click on transitions, then click on the drop down menu here and click on page curl. And that will give us the page flipping effect. So now it really is up to you how many pages you want to have. Just keep designing your slides and add the transition page curl. 
This can be like very simple layouts with some text, some image, but you're pretty much done. So this is the final result. What do you guys think? I think it looks absolutely incredible and it can easily be adapted to whatever topic you have. Remember that I have free slides available on lurutiaptt.com. Don't forget to subscribe and to like this video and to follow me on Instagram and TikTok at lurutiaptt. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your support. And I will see you on my next video.